Hi guys, I just want to introduce this mukbang because I forgot to film the introduction segment to this mukbang. So. Stay tuned. We have the raw chicken here. We have the mixture of flour, baking powder, pancake mix, like the pancake uh, powder stuff. Um, there's a little bit of black pepper in there. There's egg and milk in here. And there's breadcrumbs, meat tenderizer, chili powder, black pepper, and salt. And I think that's everything that's in here. There's a little bit of flour in it as well. Um, and I'm going to make some breaded chicken, but I don't know if I should film me breading it or not. I'm only making chicken strips. See how big these pieces are? Not massive. Pardon the mess. My mom was making curtains. That's her sewing machine covered up over there. She had that blanket the whole way across the table. Normally this would be on that end of the table, but she was doing that, so now we have this situation. <laughs> so I'm going to try and bread these, and um, I'm going to show the cooking process. I'm not going to guarantee I can show you the breading process, but we all know how it goes. Put them in the flour and baking powder and pancake mix mixture, you put them in the egg and the milk, and then you put them in the breadcrumbs and stuff. So, I'm probably not going to show you that. I suppose I could show you one piece, but then again, I can't turn my iPod off. So, no, I'm not going to show you. Um, I'm just going to prop the camera in here like I always do. I set it literally right in here. And that's how I film, like, the point of view of me standing in my kitchen. My glasses on, and I just remembered that. I'm going to bread this real quick. I'm going to wash my hands thoroughly, and I'm going to put my contacts in. I took my old contacts out, and I'm going to put a new pair in. But like I said, I'm going to bread this, wash my hands very thoroughly, like three times in a row, clean off from under my nails and everything, and then I'm going to put my new contacts in, because I'm not doing a whole video on new glasses. Hello. It's my theme music for doing this. This is what it looks like with just the uh, flour and baking powder mixture on it. That's with the egg and milk. These are kind of going to be pretty big, uh, pretty big, pretty decent sized strips of chicken. And I'm getting my hands nice and filthy, by the way, for you guys. So when it comes time to turn this iPod off, which I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of film because I have two videos on there already, but those videos are not as like detailed as I wanted to make my mukbangs. So, that's why I'm doing this video, and I'm going to hopefully, um, this video is hopefully going to be better. I also tried to use less flour and stuff this time because I didn't want my, I didn't want to have a lot of waste. I end up doing that a lot with these kinds of things when I make these. Um, I, I used to make them all the time, and I would end up with so much waste and leftover, like, breadcrumbs and flowers that you can't use for anything. You can't use it for anything, because it's had someone's hands going in and out of it, and no one wants to eat something that's had someone's hands rolling in and out of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not something that's appetizing for most people. So, you know... And I'm not deep frying it. I just have a pan with some oil in it, and I'm going to hope for the best. Um, there's a singer that I've been listening to a lot of lately, uh, Black Bear, um, and he sings like hip hop -y type shit, but like hipster hip hop is what I call it, because it's like, not because it's a white person, but because it's like, um, it's not quite hip hop, but it has like elements to it. And I don't want to call it R&B, because it's not that either. And I don't like all of the songs. Um, there's very few artists that I listen to all of their songs, and I'm like, Oh my god! I like all of this! It doesn't usually happen for me. So, when it does happen, uh, I'm always shocked. So, when it doesn't happen, I'm not that shocked. You know what I mean? Like, Not like, oh my god! Another one I don't like! What will I do? I don't know if I'm going to make anything with this. I have that cauliflower in the freezer, but here's the thing about that cauliflower. It's the same cauliflower that I've tried to make like three times now, and it's always... My mom had it in the freezer sitting on top of fish, so it tastes fishy, and it's 
It's just not something everybody wants to take part in, you know what I mean? I have the house to myself, so that's why I'm making this. I'm only making two chicken breasts, by the way, like two like small chicken breasts. It looks like a lot, and it's going to look like a lot. And it's probably going to be about 500 calories for this, but at the same time, you know... Um, also, what's on my TV in there is iRobot with Will Smith. It's a movie that I don't often, like, think about looking up, but it's a movie I genuinely like. So when it's on, I watch it. You know what I mean? It's one of those. Do you have a movie like that? Leave it in the comments. I'm genuinely curious if I'm the only person that does that with movies. Like, I completely forget about how good they are. Like, it's not... Like, here's, here's why. Because, like, it's like an action movie, right? And I like action movies. But I have to be in the mood to watch them. Or it has to be literally the situation where there's, like, literally nothing else on before I'll watch an action movie. I will watch Spongebob Squarepants for three hours straight before I will watch an action movie. It's not because I have anything against action movies, it's just that I prefer comedy. And a lot of action movies have that all-important scene where someone of, you know, major value to the plot dies, and everyone sits there and goes, Oh my god! How's it gonna continue? How is he or she going to move on with their life? How is the main character going to do what they need to do in the movie? And I just realized this chicken strip is going to be so thick. Like, that is so big, guys. Here come the vegans. You're killing animals, Joss. Newsflash. If I didn't eat them, someone else would. Let's say that this chicken would have been, like, out in the wild, blah, 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 And, you know what? Something else would have ate it. If not a human being that knows how to season it and really appreciate a chicken flavor, why would I want some kind of coyote to eat it? You know what I mean? I have this stuff all over my fingers, guys. I will show you in about five seconds. I have one more of these to do. There's not as much waste as there normally is. Way less, in fact. Um, I'm about to show you how much of this shit I have on my fingers, by the way. I have so much of it. Yeah, I have often stuck in my head. That's... And I don't know. I have not heard that song in forever. Like, I don't go around looking up these songs. They just get stuck in my freaking... And here's a little tiny one. Might as well finish that one. Since it's literally going to be the easiest one to bread. Okay, my right hand is not as bad because I was using it for the liquid. So it would get, like... I would dip my hand in egg and it would get, like, rinsed off slightly. Look at my right hand, okay? It's not horrible. <laughs> oh, that's awful! How do I turn this off? Um, good thing I can snip clips, because then I can just... Guys, as I said, I after I breaded them, and there they sit, um, the pan is heating up, I went and put my contacts in, my brand spanking new lenses. And my hair's down because I never wear it down. Because unlike the majority of the human race, it doesn't do anything to get rid of my five head. So, let me put one of these suckers in the pan here. Put this little one in here. I hate that sometimes my sweatshirts, because these, these sweatshirts that you see me wearing came from my old place of occupation, which is the hog farm. They were bought for me to wear there because it was part of um, a situation that happened there. I had a rash and I was trying to... I used my own detergent instead of theirs. I wore my own clothes instead of theirs. Um, I... Yeah, basically I was a special snowflake, which I hate being. But in that situation, I was kind of getting a rash all over my body that was burning and stinging and hurt a lot, so... Sort of had no choice. Um, but yeah.
and I'm gonna make a sauce to go with these so that look at them look at them I think I should prop this up somewhere, but instead, because I know I'm probably running out of gigs to film with, I'm just going to turn the camera off for now, and I'll be back whenever these beauties are done. So I have this little one here that I'm pretty sure is done. They're so crispy. Now I'm making the sauce, which is just going to be mayo, sriracha, buffalo wing sauce, because... I don't feel like getting that fancy today. It is going to be a little spicier than normal. They look so good, guys. Why can't there be more buffalo wing sauce? I like the heat from the sriracha, but I like the flavor from the buffalo wing sauce, if you know what I mean. We're out of buffalo wing sauce officially now. If they, if they put it in plastic jars, you'd be able to eat more of it. I'm going to flip these real quick. Wow. Let me show you how they look. They almost have like a... They look like when you cook fish. Look at that. I know how to cook some chicken. I know I do. And then this back is getting even darker, so... Let me show you. How dark that is. I didn't want that to happen. It just kind of happened. And they've only been in the pan like a quarter of the time that the other stuff has. You can barely see what I'm doing. I'm thinking it's probably done, but I don't know. No way of knowing unless I bite into a piece. But I'm gonna turn the heat off real quick. You can see that the heat is off now. And I'm gonna go over here and mix up my sauce with one hand. Because that's how all the chefs do it. I'm gonna turn off the camera now. So, guys. Now I'm going to do the portion of the mukbang where I eat. Look at these. Look at them. Look at them. They're falling. I think I should take a picture of them real quick. Look at them. Look at that. Ow, that's hot. Well, I'm going to take a picture of them real quick because that's my thumbnail. A tall glass of ginger ale here. I got my dipping sauce. You guys can't see anything. I'm sorry. I feel like I should get a fork. This is the first one I really want to tear into. Like, look at that beauty. I feel like I should do a close-up of me ripping it open. Part of me wants to just take a bite out of it. But part of me just wants to, like, rip into it. And, like, rip it open and show you guys what it looks like. But I'm just gonna bite into it and show you guys what it looks like. Put a little bit of this dipping sauce. I'm saving some of these for later, by the way. I'm not eating all of this. Um, but yeah, look how look how juicy that chicken is. It's so freaking good. That's why that's all I'm eating right now is because this is so many calories, and I know it is. So, um, I filmed, like, two videos yesterday, I think. I didn't get a chance to upload them last night. I meant to. So here we are in a new day filming a new mukbang. Technically, that makes the next 
that makes this one recent, and then the, the ones that are going up before this one, pre-recorded. But, and I might upload this one so that it comes up tomorrow, because I feel like I need to fill the space. Because I work tomorrow. These are so good. They're so crunchy, too. How do you see that is? I love making chicken like this because It tastes so much better when you make it yourself. Oh my god, this one's almost black. It's gonna be so crispy. Mmm. Has that little bit of a burntness to it, but it doesn't mean I love it any less. They say burnt food is good for your voice, like your singing voice. I honestly think that's true because, okay, I thought there was a wasp on my ceiling. There's a stink bug. If you don't know what those are, look them up. They're like this freaking big. And they just, they're just annoying. They buzz, they're really big, they're loud. Then if you kill them, they stink. I don't know if like, I don't know if they have like a defense mechanism where they stink, and that's why they're called stink bugs, but I definitely don't want to be in the room if, if one gets killed, so I mean, that's kind of a defense mechanism. Like, don't kill me or I'll make your house stink, right? But as I was saying... I used to hear it all the time when I was a kid, that burnt food, like, what's good for your singing voice? Part of me thinks that's totally people trying to talk a kid into into eating burnt food, but... I used to eat a lot of like burnt, not extremely burnt, but like crispy food. Yeah, I mean, you've heard my, you've heard my pipes. Probably. Hmm. I want to get like a close up so I can do a thumbnail, but. My thumbnails always look like I'm dying. And that is with the first layer is flour, baking powder, pancake mix, and a little bit of black pepper. Then there's the egg and the milk. And then there's the breadcrumbs, flour. I think I did put a little bit of pancake mix in that too. Um, let's just take a bite and see if we can hear the crisp. I wasn't trying to be gross. I was trying to hear the crispiness. I'm only eating a few of these because the other ones I'm going to eat later. Not on film, obviously, but. I'm going to eat like three more, maybe. Maybe two more. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. My mukbang that I did last night 
was me eating a salad and then McNuggets and fries from McDonald's. And I was being quiet in it. Um, because I wasn't really into talking. Plus, both my parents were here. And I've told you my feelings on trying to do a mukbang and talk while my parents are here. I, I kept I kept going around in my head of what I wanted to make. Before I actually made it this morning. I thought about making like some kind of patties with a can of tuna and an egg and some pancake mix or some flour or something. And I was like, eh, I'm not really in the mood to be making something that complicated. Or with fish, because I have to... I have to take a break from fish, because I've been eating a lot of fish lately. I'm <laughs> afraid of the lead and mercury. No, I just wasn't in the mood for fish this morning. Then I thought about using the $5 bill I have in my pocket to go to the store and get... Um... One of their already made meals. There's a big piece of chicken fat here. I don't eat chicken fat. I don't eat any kind of fat. Unless it's fat to tip. <laughs> um, anyway. They have where you can get like two pieces of chicken and a side for like four seventy five. but I saved money because I made something that was already here. Mm. I love this. This is so good. This is the last one I'm eating because I know this is like the amount that I just ate is probably about 500 calories. 600, 650, counting the soda. Um, because I only use two chicken breasts and I still have shit. Roll onto the table, why don't you? I don't, I still have that much chicken, that much chicken strips left, and I, I didn't make any veggies today, but I'm still trying to pace myself for my calories throughout the day so that my blood sugar stays level so that I can lose weight, and so that my body doesn't get all like, boo. I got that fat food, fast food yesterday purely because my brother came down and he had gotten fast food and he got a bunch of stuff that it was a coupon deal. It was two Big Macs, a basket of fries, didn't need a whole basket by the way, and chicken nuggets. And I ate that, I ate like half of the nuggets off camera, and then I decided I was going to get a salad, which I got bored with. I hate, I don't hate salad, I hate when I get a salad, and whoever made the salad is, it's fucking handfuls after handfuls of lettuce, and then three or four slices of tomato, and three or four slices of cucumber, and like, little pieces of carrots, and little pieces of fucking purple cabbage sprinkled throughout. Salads are good when they have a lot of variety, when there's a lot of different things in it. I don't care if you're one of those people that gets a, goes to a salad bar and gets a fucking plate full of lettuce and covers it in ranch dressing. You're not eating a fucking salad. You're eating lettuce and ranch dressing on it. But as I said, I was only going to eat a couple of these. And I did. I ate the amount that I wanted to, and I'm not going to touch these ones. So... I want to thank you for watching. I want to let you know about the links in the description once again to my Patreon, to my Someone Has to Say a playlist, to my Mukbang playlist, to my 
SoundCloud, my Tumblr, my Twitter, my Facebook page, and there's a this this uh, my Snapchat. It's not a link to it, but it's like a it's what my Snapchat's called. Uh, please feel free to add me or follow me on any of those. Send me questions um, or a DM on Twitter or a message and be like, hey, can I be in your video? I have a question, and just like say the question and. I want to do another Q and A, guys. I really do. Um, I don't know when. I'm trying to get back on track with my diet. I really am. But I'm gonna go now. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you have a great, wonderful day ahead of you, and I will see you in the future.